The coronavirus pandemic has not only thrown the world into a tailspin, but the sports world as well. And while things slowly get back to normal, we look forward to getting back and competing, including UConn Huskies basketball, especially back in the Big East. Fox 61's Kanani Stevens has more with Gino Ariema. Sean, July 1st marks UConn's independence, so to speak, from the American Conference as they are now officially members of the Big East once again. Gina Oriema took some time on Wednesday to reminisce a little bit about those close rivalry matchups in the Big East and what he's most excited about for the Huskies to return to their former conference. Nights like uh, we had at DePaul last year, you know, where the game went down to the last minute or two. Uh, the game we had against St. John's, even though it was on neutral court in St. Thomas. Um, I, I, I'm just looking forward to being in, in those situations more and more. Um, you know, I have such great memories of all those arenas, too. But walking into Georgetown, you know, walking into McDonough, it's just going to bring back a lot of great memories, you know. Driving over to Providence. And the people, I know the people are, some of the people are different, but there's, there's a lot of people at those universities that are still there. Now, while we still don't know exactly what the college basketball scene is going to look like this year, Gino did say he's excited to get some of his players back on campus in the next three to four weeks so they can begin preparing for the season. I'm Kanani Stevens, Fox 61 Sports. And a reminder, tonight at 7 o'clock, Gino Ariema will be on the Coaches Road Show. You can see it all on the UConn Huskies Facebook page. Gino joins men's basketball coach Dan Hurley, along with athletic director David Benedict. Here's a sneak peek behind the scenes of the show at Gampa Pavilion. Lots of great topics, awesome stuff for sure. For the first time since 1901, there will not be minor league baseball. COVID-19 took care of that, and that leaves the Norwich Sea Unicorns and the Hartford Yard Goats without a season. Tough for everyone for sure, off the field, and of course, on the field as well. Yard Goats General Manager Mike Abramson telling Fox 61 Wednesday that while it's disappointing to not have a season this year, they fully plan to be ready for the 2021 schedule. 70 games, of course, the dunk is typically sold out every game and while you can't see your favorite player in Hartford this season with the big leagues getting ready to start you may catch a former goat in a Rockies uniform. The Major League Baseball um, rosters are expanded so you'll actually see a lot of the uh, players who were here last year and the year before um, on that expanded roster players like Kyle, Kyle Freeland, Dom Nunez, Ashton Godot. Um, they'll be up there in the Major League team. The rest of the players are employees of the Colorado Rockies. We and of course something to look forward to next season in Hartford the Yard Goats will host the Eastern League All-Star Game and that will be awesome. Until next time, happy sports, everyone. Sean Pergano, Fox 61 Sports.